RT. And first off, an investigative journalist in the United States claims American intelligence sent Afghan mercenaries into Iraq in order to attack the country's civilians and military personnel. Wayne Madsen says the Afghans were recruited from Taliban ranks and were paid for their services. Wayne Madsen joins us now live from Washington, D.C. Mr. Madsen, you're putting your head way above the parapet here. These are serious allegations that Americans are paying for attacks on their own military personnel. What is your evidence here? Well, a, a very credible Western intelligence uh, source who was stationed in Iraq in 2007 reports that uh, during that year a 40-foot long tractor trailer was stopped on the Karata Bridge in Baghdad by Iraqi police officers. When they looked in the back of the trailer, they found 30 to 40 Taliban uh, uh, guerrillas who said that they were brought in by the United States to stir up trouble in Iraq to attack, uh, attack civilians and coalition forces. Uh, when the uh, Iraqi police attempted to detain them for further questioning, uh, the U.S. military commanders told them to let them go. Uh, in addition to that, I, was, uh, I received uh, a two-page list of of Iraq, uh, Iraqi members uh, of the uh, Muqtada al-Sadr Mahdi army who were being supplied with materials to make these um, improvised explosive devices, these roadside bombs. Uh, the, the, uh, the list contained their cell phone numbers, their locations. When this list was turned over to U.S. forces uh, to take action, nothing was done because at the time uh, General David Petraeus, the top U.S. military commander in Baghdad, uh, had signed a, a ceasefire agreement uh, six months earlier with Muqtada al-Sadr's Mahdi army and decided he didn't want to upset that ceasefire by taking action against al-Sadr uh, and no action was taken. So here we have uh, 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 two cases uh, of the U.S. Uh, basically not only looking the other way but actively participating in uh, this violence by bringing in Taliban uh, guerrillas from Afghanistan. You're a, fa a, f a former naval officer yourself. You've also worked in security. You've got a good idea to the, to the background here. Why would the U.S. though want to further inflame violence and terrorism in Iraq? Well, we just have to look at the whole panoply of uh, uh, crimes of the uh, Bush and Cheney administration, uh, everything from torture uh, uh, to uh, the, the phony intelligence that got us into the war in Iraq, to, to see that there were geopolitical and uh, oil and energy interests to, uh, you know, uh, that were preeminent to keep U.S. forces uh, inside Iraq, and what better way than to generate these what, uh, what are known as false flag terror attacks. Uh, of course, uh, there had never been an entity called Al-Qaeda in Mesopotamia, but it, there certainly seemed to have been one that uh, uh, was uh, quite active after U.S. forces uh, occupied the nation. So I, I believe that this is just a classic uh, false flag terror uh, attack. Uh, we, we know that the U.S. has had a long history uh, with the Taliban going back to the war in Afghanistan against the Soviet Union. Robin Cook, the late uh, British uh, Foreign Secretary, pointed out that Al-Qaeda was nothing more than a CIA database of, of uh, people, uh, who uh, funders and uh, people, mercenaries that they could use against the so uh, Soviet Union, Afghanistan. And uh, so we have a, a, a track record here. Mr. Matz, you're also claiming that U.S. officials turned a blind eye to attacks they knew were going to happen. You intimated uh, uh, to that earlier. How much of what's going on then, in your view, do you think is being orchestrated? I think uh, a lot of it is being orchestrated because uh, the U.S., uh, although the Obama administration is now withdrawing U.S. troops from Iraqi cities, we know that uh, from uh, statements made by top U.S. military commanders that U.S. troops may remain in Iraq uh, for a number, uh, a number of years uh, in these uh, forward operating bases located out of the city. But it looks like the United States has no uh, interest in leaving Iraq in its entirety anytime soon. I would also know note that uh, as far as Afghanistan is concerned, I'll be reporting later today that uh, Bosnian Muslim uh, guerrillas who were fighting uh, in that country's civil war are now in Afghanistan as election monitors uh, for the upcoming Afghan elections. So we see, we see uh, the United States involved in moving a lot of people around uh, Afghanistan and, and Iraq and uh, uh, that uh, is just uh, m more evidence that uh, uh, this uh, 
government is uh, interested more in uh, perpetuating violence than in uh, doing anything to uh, stop it. Well, Wayne Madison, I'm afraid we've got to leave it there. Wayne Madison, investigative journalist and RT contributor from Washington, D.C. Uh, thank you for your thoughts on the program today.